everyone again yes we are back and back for good and it's nice to you know have you joined us again on this edition of the show yes of course uh, we'll be you know rounding up uh, the UEFA Champions League that went down uh, this midweek and I'm not here alone yes before I forget my name is OJ Matthew your regular host uh, yes uh, right here on this channel uh, so all you need to do is to you know click that subscription you know, button out there and of course don't forget the notification you know, bell uh, so that each time we post content uh, for you people out there you surely get notified so once more my name is OJ Matthew and uh, with me in the studio is Daniel today Daniel good day to you good day mr oj yes it's nice to have you thank, thank you very much. much yeah okay um uh, yes, yes let's, let's begin, begin with, with uh, uh the uefa champions league, league roundup it, it was an interesting you no know, midweek and uh you uh, with what you are wearing i don't need to ask you at the club you are supporting right <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so i want to say congratulations uh, uh, to your team Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, that's recently that's how we do this. Okay, um, winning is a tradition. Uh, winning is a tradition. Yes. <laughs> okay, a uh, two nil against Leo. So, can you quickly tell us uh, your thoughts about the victory of your team Chelsea against Leo fans? It's it's an it's an expected result. Everybody, every good followers of football expect Chelsea to win the match, though. Some would have expected the scoreline to be higher than that. But with the Chelsea team under Twinchel, we already know they don't score much goals. Hmm. Yeah, but they are always concerned about the victory at the end. So 2-0 was fantastic. The coach rested some players like Lukaku. Recently, he have not been that up and doing in a Chelsea jersey. So he prefers to go back to his former formation, which was what he used to win the Champions League. And it's pace. You know, Kai Havard was everywhere. He was a constant threat on the Lily defense. He was, he really disturbed the defense. And he, getting that first goal was very, very, very fantastic. And overall, his performance in that match was fantastic. And I think going forward with the way Lukaku is playing recently, the coach may likely want to adopt the system for the next match. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, how do you see, uh, uh, do you think that Chelsea have uh, uh, any chance of progressing, uh, going by the fact that uh, they have that advantage now, um, well, by the time they go back to, uh, to France? A, a team like Chelsea don't just get this kind of advantage and train to the air. Wow. Uh, most especially when they are playing against a team like Lille. By mere comparison, they are not they are not on the same pedestal or something. Yes, pedigree. Yeah. So, so I see Chelsea progressing ahead of Lily. Hmm. Yes, uh, no. The Lily team they tried they came to the competition as a League One champion. Though this season they have not been doing. Yeah, they've been struggling. Yes, they have hmm. not been doing well this season. But even in their best form with the Chelsea team, this compact and togetherness in the Chelsea team now, Chelsea can still beat them anytime, any day. even in Le in France, hmm. I see Chelsea beating them. Alright, the other game that went down on Tuesday was uh, the game between Villarreal and uh, Juventus. Uh, so, um, your, your analysis of the game, and uh, who, do you see, who do you fancy the going through from uh, this, uh, uh, among these two teams? You know, the Juventus team, recently has reduced itself to an average team or so to say mm. compared to a Villarreal team that is compact you know i like the flair, i like the the compatibility and the flexibility in the Villarreal team uh, emery has succeeded in building the kind of team he wanted to build in arsenal but he was not given the opportunity to do that so in Villarreal, he was given the uh, enabling conditions and animals of fire and he's more relaxed now with the way his team plays, the flex and when they are with the ball you see them spreading, giving the person with the ball enough options to play and when they lose the ball you see them all coming back. So I think the match, before the match I was, I know the match will be a very tough one for Juventus and 
ending one one is not a surprise thing to me because mm. Juventus have not been doing good. But for them to get a draw in that match in Spain is good. It really spare a good result for them because the second leg will be at Turin and at Turin anything can happen. Anything can happen. And so who will you replace your bet on? Uh, you know, football is a game of surprises. So and Juventus is a big team. Despite the fact that they are not so they are not doing so well recently but in turin it will be very hard for villarreal to go to turin and beat juventus so i'm still seeing juventus to win or they will still end draw and go to the penalty shootout and settle their there. okay all right so the other game that uh, the other games that went down on wednesday um is a contrasting one um, yes, um, Atletico Madrid hosted Manchester uh, United and it's still causing a lot of ripples, I must tell you. And um, yes, uh, the legends of Manchester United are not really happy with the performance of Manchester United, even though uh, Elanga got that uh, you know, equalizing goal uh, for them. But uh, a lot of people are saying that Atletico Madrid could have you know, taken uh, you know, that match home if they had wanted. Yes, yes, yes. I think the Man U team did not replay really anything. They did not play up to people's expectation. We know, considering that the coach came out to say that he's prioritizing Champions League. That's to say that you are putting in all your best to make sure you get a very good result in this competition. Mm. And for them to, after few hours, uh, after two four hours, for them to put on that kind of display is so disappointing. You know, the Man U team did not play. Uh, uh, Atletico has the chances to bury that match, mm. even at the first half. Mm. Because after getting that goal at the seventh minute or so, I think they hit the bar, the crossbar also, before the end of first half. So they have the chances to bury the match, but they didn't take their chances. And that's one thing about football. When you have the chances to take it, when you don't take it, it's, you pay for it there. Mm. So... Mind you, before the introduction of Elanga, were not really doing anything. I saw Cristiano Ronaldo in that match. He was trying to motivate others. Whereas you yourself were not doing anything special. Mm. So he was nowhere in the match. He was flat-footed. You know, the few times the ball got to his feet, he couldn't really use the ball to... Uh, he couldn't reproduce really produce any good thing with the ball. So... Elanga coming in to give them that vital point was really, really, really very good because this is a young lad that I remember one of his interviews, he said whenever he's called upon, he always goes in to empty his stack. He doesn't keep anything in reserve. And with this Atletico match, you can see it. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that should be his first touch. Mm. So for him to get a goal like that with his first touch in such a big match and also in a big competition like Champions League, it's a really a good one. So the whole team now falls back to Mario because I think with the eradication of uh, a waste goals, I think coming to Manchester United uh, to Manchester it will be on balance scale. Mm. So now everything has to play. They have everything in their hands to play. So it's left for Mario now to go home, put your eyes together, go back to the drawing board and say, where did we get it from? This is not actually exactly what we planned. You know, put things together and make sure the second leg, they got a very good result mm -hmm. that will actually prepare them to the next round. All right. And uh, of course, the other game is between uh, Benfica and IS. It ended in a 2-2. Uh, are you surprised with that, with that result? Mm, no, I'm not surprised because Benfica is at home. Though, they have not been doing really good in uh, uh, in their league, but is this a team we know they they are used to Europe. You know, most of the team, if they don't come to Europe, they will go to Europe. So they are used to playing in Europe, and they know exactly what it means to play in Europe. But I guess it's a big team also on their own, but they were away, and the Benfica boys were just ready to put anything 
in there mm -hmm. to make sure they got the result and at the end of the day they did mm -hmm. so it's a nice one for them all right uh, so this is where we uh you know call it a day on this uh this week's uh, uefa champions league roundup uh, right here on this channel please don't forget uh, you just all you need to do for us is to uh you know press that or click on that uh, subscription uh, subscription you know button there and of course that notif uh, notification bell for you to be notified uh, about uh, our newest content on this uh, you know uh, channel okay so i uh, want to appreciate you if you do that so let's build this channel together and uh, uh, together we will surely grow and uh, we promise you that we surely will bring you fresh fresh contents on this channel right here my name is oj matthew and see you on the next one